Gilbert, I think Coach Lucas talked highly about your offseason and kind of the work you put in. Can you kind of take us through what this offseason looked for you, looked like for you and, and where do you feel like your game is right now? Um, yeah, this offseason I just mainly worked on like some of the things I need to improve on, like stopping the run, some improving my pass rush moves. So just like pick, uh, improving on those things, that's what mainly I was doing this offseason, getting more in shape, getting physically ready to play. What goes into trying to improve stopping the run, both for you personally and as a team? Because that's been a big focus for a lot of guys in here. Um, being more physical at the point of attack, I think that's 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 that'll help you out a lot. Um, just learning the learning the defense, you know, learning learning your fit, where you where your gaps are at. So that's how you that's how you get better. How would you kind of maybe describe your career so far at South Carolina and trying to just trying to play in behind some really good pass rushers and, and how exciting is it to have an opportunity to potentially impact this two deep roster this season? Um, yeah, um, so my career um, mainly was just being around a bunch of like being behind a bunch of like really good players. So um, when you're when you're playing behind good players like that, you tend to like pick up on some things that they they do well. So like what I was doing was just like picking up on the things that I could see myself doing and what was helping their game. So I just kind of like added it to mine and and I'm praying that it works out for me whenever I get ready to play. Gilbert, kind of to that, I guess, you know, when you look at this room, obviously Jordan, the, the Jordans, I guess, are, are kind of, you know, guys that we circle, your guy that people circle, I guess. Just what what is it like kind of seeing that opportunity and having that opportunity to maybe get in the rotation and, and see a little more time this year and, and being physically ready as well, maybe a little bit more than you felt like maybe last year? Could you repeat that? Like, I yeah. Said, how does it feel? Yeah, I guess just obviously with Aaron and uh, and JJ leaving, and there being maybe some more snaps up for grabs and things yeah. like that. I guess just with feeling more physically ready, maybe this year. I, I guess just what's that like to, to be in a position to maybe be in a little bit more of the rotation this year? Um, it's it's a blessing. Like, um, I came here to play in, in big games, so getting the opportunity is like a blessing for me. So now that I'm feel like I'm ready, like it's time to do good things. I know Birch has been banged up a little bit, but just what have you seen from those two guys specifically, the two Jordans, um, that you can kind of model your game after, and how impactful can they be for this defense? Um, those two guys, they're like they're the standard. They set really good examples. Like so, being behind them, like you, like I said before, like you tend to pick up on things. So, just the way they go about practice, they practice hard. Um, they approach the game like they love the game. So, just picking up on some of the things like that they do well. How would you describe the culture here, and what? Um, how, how has it been impactful for you on on the field and off the field? Um, the culture here, um, it's amazing. The atmosphere is great. I feel like the team is more closely connected than it's ever been. So, like, when you feel like you're playing for your brother, and that's what they've been preaching to us: the team. It's about the team and not about ourselves. So, when you're playing for a team instead of yourself, it's like. It makes you better as well. So, all right. Thank you.